Um, what was the nature of your contact with Mr. McNabb? I was evaluating him at the request of Newton Defects. And did you have the occasion um, to be working on your computer down there at the jail while you were talking to him? I did. And at some point in time, did Mr. McNabb tell you to look up? He did. And when you looked, um, where was he at in, in relation to you? He was probably an inch or two away from the glass, okay. right in front of my face. So were you separated by glass? We were separated by glass. And what um, did you see when he asked you to look? He had, he was wearing a turtle suit, um, which is something that prisoners are wearing when they're on suicide risk. And they, he wasn't wearing clothing under that, and he had pulled up the turtle suit and taken out his penis and was masturbating. I know this is a new channel and all, but is it fucked up that I kind of want to put a hand job joke right there? Just me? Okay, gotcha. Okay, everybody, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, continue to the end of the video, please. I need the views. No, no, but on a real note, though. Um, hope everybody's having a good day. But, how do I say this? It was one of those days where you wake up, right? The fucking sun is shining. The fucking everything's perfect. You know, your life's going beautifully and then you get that one dumbass recommendation on YouTube you just gotta stop and scratch your head like did I really just see this shit or is my like are my eyes playing tricks with me right and I believe this is an old ass clip I don't know I, this is the first time I've ever seen it if I'm honest but I'm sitting there you know just having fun drinking tea because I'm southern so you know what why the hell else wouldn't I drink tea but like I said, I'm just sitting there, I'm scrolling through YouTube, normal day, everything's fine. And I just see this video, right? And I just play the opening of it. And it just amazes me the fuck. Like, <laughs> this dude is sitting there, right? And you're gonna hear the stupid ass excuse he has in a minute. Just trust me, it's golden, I guess. You know, you take your own opinion on it. But, what? <sighs> just roll the clip. And did he masturbate um, to completion in your presence? He did. Stand up and address the court. I'd just like, I'd just like uh, the court to know, as well as everybody at home, since this is being broadcasted for whatever reasons. My guy, that is such a fucking easy response. We're trying to get a Judge Judy ripoff. Like, my guy, get your fucking head in the game, bro. That I did have on a, a turtle suit, and it Velcros, and it wasn't on properly, and it didn't fit properly, and the Velcros were not on good because they don't stick because they they've been used for so many years. So you see this is what I like to call denial. It's when you've been caught but it's that guilty until proven or what was it innocent until proven guilty bullshit that runs around not masturbating at all in front of her. I'm Joe Biden and I approve this message. If you can't laugh in life, I see no point in it. That's my excuse. Period. The thing fell off when I stood up and that was it. There was no, none of that. And I would have liked to have told her that since she was the one making the accusation. Since I'm pretty sure by my, my, the law states that I have a right to confront my witnesses who accused me of doing wrong. So I felt like I wanted to say it in front of her since she was the one up here slandering me. And that's all I got now, to say. You sure you don't want to talk about the sentencing and all of that? That was the only thing you wanted to tell the court? I mean, that's, I haven't heard anything about a sentence. I was just well, commenting on that. I understand the charges. that. And I just wanted to know if you had anything you wanted to say to the court. I mean, I got a lot to say. I got, I, I got a lot to say, but I'm not going to be able to say half of it. I don't know, because I don't know what you're going to say. I'm innocent. I didn't do it. My man's over here legitimately trying to play the fucking victim card. <laughs> okay. I've, I've maintained that the whole time. I feel like there was things that were allowed to be said that should have never been allowed to have been said and didn't have no nothing whatsoever to do with the case and what was being said just because somebody has domestic abuse issues with their spouse doesn't mean that they would put their hands on their kids which has also been pretty much proved that i've never touched my kids in any harmful manner i don't know with all due respect and very little with that i wouldn't put it past him if you know he touched you, you can hear the fucking air quotes you know the fingers are going down and up you know but, uh, uh, you know, just because I had domestic abuse uh, does, doesn't mean that I would also abuse my kids. <laughs> That's not how that works. Abuse is abuse. Fucked up. Doesn't matter who it's to, when it's to. Regardless, 
If you don't believe me, you need to search this video up. This dude is fucking scum. Whatsoever. I've never harmed my kids. I didn't even hear anything that said that I had done anything to her in front of the kids. Tell me if I'm wrong, but didn't he just admit to doing it? He just never got caught by his wife. So that doesn't make sense either. And, you know, just to let the record show that I, I, I don't think I ever, ever put my hands on her in front of those kids. And I just don't, I just don't feel like just because somebody has domestic issues with the female in their life that they love, that they were just... Y'all ready? This is where I piss off all the meth heads that live in trailer parks. Okay. If you love someone, you don't hit them. There's a difference between an argument and or a fight. And physically abusing. Okay, if I smack my brother upside the head, there's a difference from me taking off a belt and beating the shit out of my child. What the fuck? They would just say, oh, he don't love you and all that stuff just in front of everybody or whatever. Which doesn't matter, but I just don't understand how you find somebody guilty of doing something to a 15 day old baby because there was no evidence whatsoever that proved anything about me putting my hands on my kids. I've never done it, I never would. I don't believe in it. I was beat as a child. That's it, boys and girls. That was our fucking pipe bomb drop of the century, you know? You know, Luke, I am your father, couldn't top that shit. You ready for that? Same thing he did happen to him. Shit, you know, at least fucking Batman had the courtesy to not go around killing people's parrots. Or parents. <laughs> fucking parrots. <laughs> and I don't agree with it at all. And I would never do it. I would never do this. That's all I gotta say. I would never do it. I'm innocent. Well, I can make a lot of comments on what you said. I can make a lot of comments on the trial, but I know that was just be arguing with you or talking with you. I'll ask you one simple question. You claim you're innocent, so you tell me what sentence the man or woman that you claim did this should receive. If you ever find out who did them, they deserve to be under the jail. Okay. So they ought to get the maximum sentence. Most definitely. Okay. On the crime of malice murder, I sent you to life in confinement without parole. On the sin of death of another, I sent you to 10 years in confinement consecutive or after. Count one. You understand each of your sentences. Yeah, that's about all for me. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Peace. Finish it out with this little dub, though.